Good afternoon, it's Sikander Scott Von Helt from HolisticMusician.com with today's bowl of sake by Hazrat Nayak Khan for April the 29th. When souls meet each other, what truth they can exchange. It is uttered in silence, yet always surely reaches its goal. When souls meet each other, what truth they can exchange. It is uttered in silence, yet always surely reaches its goal. So kind of a couple thoughts that come to mind with this, you know, when souls meet each other, what truth they can exchange. Um, you know, an icon has a really great saying that, you know, even a rock uh, shows signs of life. It just needs another rock to strike against it to bring out the spark. And I really uh, feel that that's kind of same same as this a little bit. You know, when two souls meet, there's an exchange, there's an energy, there's a vibration um, of those two energies coming together and meeting. Whether it's a harsh energy or a, a, a positive energy, a, a, a comforting energy, um, there's an exchange. And uh, it's uttered in silence. You know, sometimes it can be spoken and things like that, but in silence, um, those those energies meet, those poles and polarities of each other um, through the you know the etheric field or the uh, you know magnetic energy of the body, you f you feel that other person's presence. And um, you know when you work with a teacher or you um, meet a saint or master, you can also have that experience because you really experience their power. You experience uh, as we call the bar the baraka or baraka uh, that that real um, power that uh, is a transference. You feel that person's energy. You feel that person's um, presence and that's something that can really uh, be a powerful exchange and usually that's uttered in silence you know a lot of the older um, ancient mystics and yogis and Sufis um, they didn't really teach much you know in fact the Nayak Khan tells a great story about um, how he met his teacher and he was so excited about all these different uh, teachings and learning about mysticism and spiritual things and his teacher for months never said anything spiritual they just sat around and they didn't do anything and then one day he um, said something and brought out uh, this uh, he, he said something spiritual and, and I got his uh, notebook out and started taking notes and immediately his teacher changed the subject uh, because really there's a transmission that happens in the depths of the silence that's the place that you're trying to reach so that's a place where your teacher meets you and tries to bring you to that place or helps you aid you in, in reaching that that inner development um, so that's something that's that's usually uttered in silence so there's a lot of power that can be uttered in silence and uh, surely uh, that uh, that message or that uh, transmission of energy reaches its goal even in the silence so when souls meet each other what truth they can exchange it is uttered in silence yet always surely reaches its goal just a couple thoughts on today's bowl of sake, and uh, I'm going to go tend to my little girl's loose tooth, and uh, I'm being summoned. So have a good afternoon, and thanks for checking it out. Oh, and uh, here it is. Show that loose tooth. Whoa. You know, something else I really want to show you. Oh, yeah? Who's watching? A whole bunch of people. Well, a couple of people. Hell. Grandma Judy's watching. Say hi, Grandma Judy. Jerry? <laughs> Grandma Judy? Yeah. Grandma Judy? We put a little string around there. She just sent you a little heart. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Grandma Judy. We put a little bit of um, uh, floss, floss around it and pulled on it really good, and it got a little bit stuck in there, and we had to cut it out. Hey, there's Ian. What? Ian's there, too. He said, hey, Anaya. What? Say hi, Ian. <laughs> Hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. <laughs> I love you. Love you too, Ma. Wait. You're showing everybody your boogies. <laughs> no. <laughs> I do. Oh, okay. Tooth Fairy is going to be visiting our house tonight. I can see it right now. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, it, it goes side to side, up to up, up to up, side to side. 
Each of it, it goes diagonal to diagonal, diagonal. It goes all the different ways, even the shapes you can think of. Bye! That's I right. love you, Grandma Judy, and I love you, Ian. Bye! Hope you send us a heart and a thumbs up. Oh, that's a good emoji. Yeah. You want to say hi to my friend Chuck? Yes. Say hi, Chuck. Bye, Chuck. <laughs> Hi, Chuck. Hope Bye, you're doing Chuck. good too, buddy. Bye, Chuck. Seriously? Seriously? Yeah, Chuck. You do that? You do that? To me? She's sending you all kinds of love you and hearts. You are do that, that to me? Yeah, she's Chuck. doing that to you. Do that, do that. Keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. Why are you sending me so much? I love that, I love that, I love that, I love that. I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. Oh, thank you. I love that. Ian sending you a bunch of thumbs up and I love that again. I love that again. I love that again. All right. I love that again. 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 Have a good night. I love that again. And we'll be back again and again and again and again and again and again. And I hope you type it really again and 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 again